Hi my friend, it has been a long time that I haven't made any video due to working on a project intensively. I hope we will continue where we left off. We saw for loops in the previous videos, now we are going to see the concept of while, which is similar. Let's start with the definition first. The while loop in Python is used to iterate over a block of code as long as the condition is true. We generally use this loop when we don't know the number of times to iterate beforehand. We will soon understand better when we move on to examples. Let's move forward by looking at syntax. First, we write while. Then we need to determine a condition here. This is the same logic like we did with the if statements. As long as the condition we determine here is true, the codes we write under the while loop will run repeatedly. Let me show you what I mean. I declare a variable, let's name it as condition, and uh, its value is true. So we go on. I had already written the while keyword. Now I'm writing the condition I had defined above. So I just write condition here. And then I put a colon just with it with a if statements. Now all the codes that we are going to write at this level will be executed repeatedly. Because our condition is true here. So there is nothing to stop this Con this uh, while loop. Just remember what I said. As long as our condition here is true, the codes will be repeated continuously. Since we don't have anything to make the condition false yet, it will run forever. I just want to show you by just printing something. So let's say while loop is working and then I run it look at the terminal it is an infinitive loop it will not stop forever because the condition here is always true I will stop the terminal the, the next question is what if I made it false what will happen so let's see I will run it again so, look at the terminal. Nothing happened. While loop never worked because the condition must be true to, to make the while condition uh, run. As condition, we can determine anything that gives the result true or false. It depends on, on your need, actually. If you feel that you are lacking in this regard, I suggest you to watch the if statement video again, because we examined the conditions there in deep. So I continue. Let's go a little further and they write an if statement inside the while. So I change the condition from false to true again. And uh, I will add a counter here. Let's say zero. And uh, I will increase the counter one by one. Look here. As long as the condition is true, the number will always be increased by one. But if we add an if condition inside the while loop and they make the condition false when the counter is 5 it will stop let me show you what I mean when the counter equal to 5 we will make the condition false actually you don't need to put parentheses I removed them even now we can print the counter itself instead to see it better so let's print the counter here I think everything is okay so I will run the code again look at the terminal it started from 0 and uh, when it got to 5 
the condition here became true and uh, we made the condition false so the while loop got broken actually i didn't use the word broken for nothing here we can also use the black keyword to stop this while i want to show you what i just said i will no longer make the condition false instead i will write a break here and then i will run it again so look at the terminal we got a different result this time our counter started from 0 to 5 when we made the condition false here but when we used break keyword the result was 4 but why to understand better let's go back to the our previous previous code here so i will write the condition false again in this code block while loop started and then at every iteration if condition check the counter value if it was 5 it was not 5 so it directly printed the counter here and they increased the counter by 1 then the same operation took place again until the counter was 5 so the question is that what happened when the counter is 5 the condition here became false and that the codes here continue to work I mean the condition became false okay and then the print uh, function run and the counter has been increased by one and uh, from here it it returned at the beginning so the condition uh, became false so it didn't continue to work but what happened when we put break here so I will write it again when the while loop saw the break keyword here it quitted the loop as soon as it encountered this break keyword there is such a subtle difference here I hope you understand definitely practice it yourself please to understand better before ending the video the last thing i want to say is that we don't need to write an if statement here we can use the condition just next to while keyword here as we can determine the condition here so let me show you i will remove it and then uh, i will write something you know counter is less than sorry less than six this means that the while condition will not be broken as long as the counter is less than six so let's run it again look we got the same result here i hope you liked it thanks for watching see you in the next video